What's up, Crypto? So, in today's video, i-share ko naman sa inyo kung paano ko nakuha itong trade ko sa Matic. Okay? So, explain ko yung full breakdown na to. Okay? And then, actually, hindi lang siya trade or winning trade. Meron din na sayang trade. Okay? So, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so nandito ulit tayo ngayon sa ating uh, theory chart. Okay, so kung matatandaan nyo yung previous uh, video natin or full breakdown is about something like this, no? Itong theory na to. Okay, so sabihin, familiar na kayo dito, but ang kinaibahan lang is na-miss ko itong part na to. Okay, so yung the first reaction after the change of character. Okay, so what happens next? Okay, so ano yung pwede nating gawin kapag na-miss natin tong trade na to, for example? Okay, so let's say for example, na-miss natin tong trade na to and then nagkaroon pa siya ng another higher high. Okay, so this actually break a structure. Okay, so meron tayong top and then meron tayong BUS. Okay, so ngayon, it is creating an order flow. Okay? From the change of character na movement. Okay? So, basically, we have downtrend here. Okay? And then, aggressive move up, causing a change of character, reaction sa order block or sa our uh, supply or demand zone. Okay? So, in this case, uh, it reacted on our demand zone okay? or imbalance here. Okay? So, creating another structure or, or creating another uh, break of structure <laughs> something like that okay so nagkaroon ng another break of structure okay so ngayon based din sa mga previous na na discuss na natin before is basically itong part na to is another bullish market structure okay so what we can do is wait for the RTO or return to order block somewhere here or wait for the imbalance to be filled before acting or entering the market and wait for the reaction. Okay? So, in this theory, okay, so given na to, okay, ito na guess na, so from previous, so let's just say, meron tayong imbalance dito. Okay? So, ito, say, order block, and then ito, uh, imbalance, or FVG, fair value gap, kung tawagin ng iba. Okay? So, ang ginawa ko dito, or, is to wait for the market to fill the imbalance and then wait for it to made a reaction. Okay? So basically, this is what really happened. So in theory, right? Now, let's try to compare this into the actual market. Okay? So i-replay na lang din natin. So here, i-replay ko na lang din. Ay, para mala, para di tayo mahirapan intindihin. So, in this case, kung mapapansin nyo, no, we have a downtrend here or downward order flow. And then, dito, okay, yung papansin nyo, meron tayong chok. Okay, somewhere here. Minark ko na siya. Okay, so ito yung first na order block natin. Okay, so in theory, after ng change of character, may order block somewhere here, nagkaroon ng reaction. Okay? So, chok. Okay? Aggressive move up, chok. Order block, reaction. The order block nag-cause ng another break of structure na meron, na meron ding aggressive move. Okay? So, nag-cause din siya ng another imbalance. Okay? Nag-form ng another imbalance pala. Okay? So, after that, Based on our theory, okay, ang inintay ko is ma-fill yung imbalance before magkaroon ng reaction. Okay? So, nag-enter ako actually dito sa part na to. Okay? Kung saan yung imbalance. Okay? So, tignan natin. So, ayan. Mapapansin natin, no? Clear na clear. Okay? Change of character, order block, another break of structure. Okay? And then, may imbalance na nag-create dito. Okay? 
Merong aggressive move up ulit dito from the reaction sa order block. Okay. And then we are trying to catch the imbalance field. Okay. Or the filling of the imbalance. Okay. So, play natin yung market. So, na-fill yung imbalance. Okay. So, now I'm expecting it to make another higher high. Okay. So, in terms of targets, no? Papansin natin, umakyat ako sa 15 minutes. So, originally, we are... Because originally, I'm trying to catch the move downward. So, etong part na to. Ito yung unang entry ko sana. Okay? Pero, parang, naisip ko parang antagal. Parang natatagalan ako. Parang kailangan ko na ng pera. Ganun. Parang ganun. So, initially, ito yung unang target. Ay, ito yung unang entry point. So, nag-counter trade ako. Kasi basically, this one is... Uh, This one is also a change of character from this. Okay. So, change of character from this low to this high. So, nagkaroon tayo ng change of character. So, ibig sabihin, pwedeng ma-fill itong imbalances na to before magkaroon ng reaction sa downside. Okay. So, with that being said, there is a possibility na mag-umakyat mag pa siya. No? So, ma ibig sabihin, mag-fill itong imbalance na to So, pwede tayong makahanap ng opportunity habang pinifill yung imbalance na to. Okay? So, yun yung ginawa ko sa 5-minute time frame. Okay? So, ngayon, tingnan natin, balik tayo sa 5-minute time frame. So, yun yung, itong order block na to, yung tinarget ko for this. Okay? And, kung mapapansin nyo, no, may imbalance din dito. Okay? So, pwede, ito yung, ito yung initial entry ko before. Okay? So, tingnan natin sa 5-minute time frame kung may hit ba yung ating target. Okay. So, ayan. Ayan. Kung papansin nyo, no? Itong part na to, break up structure din to eh. Pero sa substructure lang din. So, meron tayong reaction somewhere here. Okay. So, itong part naman na to, kung papansin nyo, parang liquidity siya. Okay. So, meron tayong BSL. So, tapos, after mag-grab ng BSL, nagkaroon siya ng reaction. So, yun. From this structure, okay, na-hit natin yung ating target. Okay, so, profit na ako dito. Okay. So, ipapost ko na lang sa screen yung naging result. <laughs> okay. So, ngayon, well, nasa Batangas, pumunta kasi yung Batangas. So, basically, nasa, ano ba ang ginagawa ko? Drive yata ako nun. And then, na-miss ko yung entry na to. Okay? So, basically, hindi ako naka-enter sa part na to. Kung saan yung mas matas na reward. Kasi, nasa higher time frame tayo. ba diba? So, na-miss ko to, pero hindi ko na inabol kasi na-miss ko na siya. Okay? So, after kong profit dito, sabi ko, okay na ako. Okay? Kahit na-miss ko to, hindi ko na siya inabol. Okay? So, pero, Possible pa rin na magkaroon siya ng reaction from this going to the downside. Okay? So, yun yung tinarget ko. Tinamaan naman. Na-fill yung imbalance dito. And nagkaroon din ng reaction. Kung tingting na natin. So, yun. Nagkaroon siya ng reaction from those imbalances. Okay? So, nag-grab pa yung liquidity doon. Okay? And I think ma-fill pa tong imbalance na to. Okay? Itong imbalance na to, pwede itong ma-fill kasi meron pa tayong another POS dito. Okay. Tignan natin. So, na-fill siya. Okay. Nag-react dun sa order block. Okay. And then, nagkaroon na ng reaction sa downside. Okay. So, yun na yung market ng recent. Okay. So, kung i-extend ko to, pa, kuha ko sana yung etong part na to yung 15 minute na opportunity okay so ito yung sinasabi ko na sayang trade okay so isang win trade tapos isang sayang trade which is hindi ko talaga na pasukan so sayang pero okay lang kasi marami naman opportunity sa market di ba kailangan lang natin i-train yung eyes natin para maghanap kung ano ba yung uh, pwede nating pasukan okay i mean pasukan na uh, 
trade hindi kung anong pasukan <laughs> and that's it I, so I hope you learned something on this video on this full breakdown no and sana nagustuhan niyo yung video na to no at again kung nagustuhan niyo yung video na to please consider to like share and subscribe, subscribe. and i-share na rin natin sa mga friends natin na gusto rin matuto na ginagawa natin may or nung strategy na to right so there is something that needs to be learned first before actually trading Okay, so, iwasan natin yung basta-basta mag-trade. Okay? So, yun lang. I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.